Pterosaurs. Scientists have long debated where pterosaurs fit on the evolutionary tree of life. The leading theory today is that pterosaurs, dinosaurs, and crocodiles are closely related and belong to a group known as the archaeosaurs. Scientists have described more than 200 pterosaur species. They were also the first animals after insects to evolve powered flight. Not just leaping or gliding, but flapping their wings to generate lift and travel through the air. They evolved into dozens of species, ranging from the size of a sparrow to the size of an airplane. The pterosaurs ruled the skies in the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. With the help of newly discovered skulls and skeletons that have been unearthed in North America, Brazil, Argentina, and Madagascar, Virginia Tech researchers Sterling Nesbitt and Michelle Stalker have demonstrated that a group of dinosaur precursors called Ligerpetids are the closest relatives of pterosaurs. Here is a skeleton of a Ligerpetid. The wing's main support was an amazing elongated fourth digit in the hand. Fibers in the wing membrane added structural support and stiffness. Pterosaurs consist of two main types, the rhomboids, more properly termed the basal pterosauria, which usually had long tails, and their descendants, the pterodactyloids, which had shorter tails. Here are some famous pterosaurs. Pterodactylus, Plataleorhynchus, Phalasodromius, Pteranodon, Nyctosaurus. What's going on with that head of his? Quetzalcoatlus. He was big. Ramphorhynchus. Dimorphodon. Aneurognathus. It's lunchtime. Charopteryx is not a pterosaur. Only a cousin of the pterosaurs. Rahonaevis is actually a form of dinosaur-like bird. Or maybe I should say bird-like dinosaur. Raho... Rahonaevis... Ha ha ha! Rahonaevis...